Hey everyone, guess what time it is. I've got my two Poco bead boxes and um, I know I haven't done anything with the last one yet. Um, things have been crazy busy for me, but um, let's go ahead and open these guys and see what we've got for the month of December. This will be a fairly quick video, I think. All right. They always write this really sweet little um, note about how uh, happy they are um, to have us as their customers. That's always a sweet little thing. Um, there's the stamp on the box, a little reindeer, kind of cute. And this looks like their color scheme. That's really neat. So what have we got in here? Oh, this must be our um, our bead embroidery one. So we've got metallic gold, permalux dyed yellow brown, Ceylon eggshell, opaque cream, opaque Ceylon dyed pearl, uh, some bugle beads, um, a resin cab, matte square cream, uh, white foundation, and a gold faux leather. Oh, that sounds cool. Let's have a look. I'll get the box out of the way. And we'll open this up. <laughs> the little lifesaver classic thing that always comes with the box, but we also got a candy cane and uh, a little chocolate. That's really cute. Okay, so let's take a look at these guys. I'm going to get this out of the way and we'll take them out one at a time and have a good look at them. So the first thing is the um, a size 10 metallic gold. Uh, these are check beads, size 10. I might just pull this blue paper back again because Otherwise, everything's going to fade into the color of my hide down below. They're all similar colors. So um, so this is the uh, metallic gold. Very Christmassy, very pretty. Um, and then we've got the Permalux dyed yellow brown. That's really pretty. That's a very nice color. Uh, the uh, Ceylon eggshell. See if I can find that color. There we go, Ceylon eggshell. Next one is opaque cream. And that's this guy here. And then we've got um, opaque Ceylon dyed pearl. That's this guy. Sorry, I think I'm missing one because, I don't know, this is like some sort of random extra one. <laughs> Not sure what that's all about, but anyway, that's in there. And then we've got some bugle beads, um, silver lined gold, number three. We have a square resin cab. Take those out of the bag so it's easier to see them. Oh, that's really nice. Ah, oh, we have a white foundation. We've seen this kind of stuff before. And then the um, gold faux leather. That's really pretty. This is very, very soft. So that's what we've got in our bead embroidery box. Now we'll open up the Delica box. Okay, and there's our second box, the Delica box. I'm <laughs> cute. So I've got a candy cane on the outside here and some, those must be gold chocolate coins. <laughs> that's kind of cute. Um, same little note, looks like a similar uh, color scheme, and uh, again, our cute little stamp, same thing. 
reindeer. And so we have got um, all Delica. They're probably all size 11. Um, copper lined light bronze, topaz lined crystal AB, silver lined gold, matte transparent crystal, matte opaque pear, and pale beige luster. And there's a gold toggle clasp in there. So let's take a look at these guys. Ah. <laughs> I thought that they left that out, but they didn't. This is so cool, so classic. Okay, so our first one up is the Copper Lined Light Bronze. They always tape them together. Copper Lined Mayuki, that's a beautiful color. That's one of my favorite colors. Topaz Lined Crystal AB. Yep, that's it there. That's really beautiful. Um, might be hard to see on the cal uh, on the on the um, camera, but it's got a bit of a rainbowy type of a finish. It's very very pretty. Um, silver lined gold. That's nice. That's a very nice color. Then we have matte transparent crystal. They're all stuck together. That's nice. Now, they look pretty tiny. That might even be a 15. Hard to say. I'm gonna just pull that out and stick that on my hand and see. It might just be because it's so light it's hard to tell. Oh yeah, I think those are those are elevens by the looks of it. Okay, so that's our matte transparent crystal. Um, then we've got matte opaque pear. That's very nice. And then pale beige luster. So those are all our Delica beads. And then in there we've got a, a gold toggle clasp. I'm gonna open that up. That looks really nice. Super pretty. Oh, that's nice. So we got a, a little Looks like a little, um, a little rose. Yeah, looks like a little gold rose toggle clasp. That's really nice. So, um, necklace, bracelet, whatever, um, could be made out of this. All right, well, that is the, um, Poco bead box. I hope you enjoyed this opening. I will be getting on to some of these projects to uh, to create something. Um, it's uh, just been such a busy time for me, but at least I found a little bit of time and space to um, to do this uh, this unboxing with you. So if you guys like the content, um, why don't you give me a thumbs up? And uh, it would be great if you would subscribe to my channel. And uh, I love reading all of your comments, so. Um, if you have any suggestions on things you'd like me to make or you'd like to see me do, by all means, uh, put something down in the comments and uh, I'll see if I can put something together for you. Anyway, um, have a great December and uh, I should be back soon with, uh, with uh, some, some project, maybe a make along all right, take care. Okay, I'm just popping back in here for a second because I have um, made something already. It's several uh, weeks later since the unboxing, but um, I wanted to show you this. So this is everything from the uh, December um, embroidery bead box from Poco. Um, the only thing that's different is the green background. Um, I actually swapped this with the uh, 
um, the November one. That one was a bracelet, um, and I've got my uh, my second little cabochon all ready to go right here. Um, and I like this green, and um, I wanted to change it up a little bit, so I ended up putting my cabochon onto the uh, the green background there, gluing that down. And I wanted to make either a pendant or an earring. This actually would make a great earring. But um, as I was going through with that, I wasn't too sure what I was going to be doing with it. And um, I, uh, I was intending to make a matching one with, uh, with this other one here. But I decided not to do that. I actually decided to turn this into a pendant. And this was actually pretty easy. Um, I wanted to use um, all of the elements within um, the Poco bead box. And what I did is I actually started out with these, um, with the bugle beads here. And what I did was I started out uh, in each corner, putting just one, and I put um, one of the galvanized gold at one end of the um, bugle bead, picked up the bugle bead, picked up another galvanized gold, and then sewed those down on each corner. And then I added kind of the partnering ones as best I could in a uh, um, sort of a, almost a fan shape, which I didn't do a great job, but it still looked okay. Um, and then the next thing I did was I bezeled around the uh, the stone with the uh, the galvanized gold, and then I added um, the size 10 sort of um, cream color. I'll just see what the name of the color was. It was the... Um, Sorry, everything's a size 10 except for this one is the, the little guy is the size 11. So that's the opaque Ceylon dyed pearl. And this one was the um, metallic gold, not galvanized gold. Anyway, so I did uh, a bezel around that just to hold it in a little bit better. And then I decided I would just put a line of beads around all of this. And I really like how this looks with the green background. And I really wanted to have that showing a bit. Normally with bead embroidery, this kind of green background thing would actually have been um, the, the back of the bracelet or the back of the uh, um, whatever product that you're, you're actually making. But I liked it and I wanted it to be on the front. Now on the back of this, I've actually got some traditionally tanned um, hide, smoked um, hide. So this is uh, brain tanned and it's very soft and really pretty and I thought it would go really nicely with this. So yeah, I just kind of bezeled everything on and then I used a brick stitch to enclose everything but also to sew the uh, the back to, and the front together. And then I just did a basic fringe here. I'm not gonna do tutorial on this, it's pretty simple. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna um, have the pendant going this way, but I liked this way better. And then um, I just put two, um, herringbone stitch bales on it. You can actually see there. I can sort of put my pen through. It's not wide enough for my pen, but anyway, I can put a um, either a chain on it. I was going to do um, a beaded rope, but I just, I didn't want to take away from this. So I'll get sort of a nice little gold chain um, and either run it all the way through or just um, put jump rings on, on either side of it. But anyway, so that is the um, <laughs> a little bit of a cheat because I did steal something from the uh, November box, um, but of course the um, the pretty gold backing for this one has now gone to the uh, uh, to the November box, and um, I don't know I might even combine both boxes. We'll see um, and and come up with a cool project to uh, to do as a beat along. But anyway, I wanted to do this and get it out before uh, the end of 2023. Um, tomorrow is New Year's Eve, so I wanted to get this done, and um, and then um, as soon as I'm able to, I will get busy and uh, do either a beat along or just kind of a uh, just a, a project of some sort. Anyway, um, thanks very much, and um, I already thought I had ended the vid video uh, in the last segment, but once again, if you like what we do. Thumbs up is great, subscribe, like, all those other good things, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.